वेलकम गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन प्राइम एन जी इट्स ए लीडिंग यू ए कॉमन लाइब्रेरी फॉर एंगलर टू इज इट एनी बडी अवेयर अबाउट प्राइम एन जी एनी वन यूजिंग प्राइम एन जी हियर और एंगलर टू एप और यू वर्किंग एंगलर टू एप्स ओके और यूजिंग एनी कॉम्पन लाइब्रेरीज uh material okay 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 we will see this uh, what is this prime ng first of all about me uh, i am sudhir i am a full stack developer and consultant uh, i am a core team member of prime pages and extensions open source projects i am an author for multiple books as well i am a technical reviewer for few books i am a trainer as well uh, this is about me then we will go to agenda first of all we will see what is prime ng and uh, uh, what are the features it is going to provide and uh, why we need to choose this prime ng and we will see some of the quick start also how to develop this prime ng application and then at the end we will see what are the other products we are going to get with this prime world other than this prime ng okay it is a sibling of prime faces the most popular jsof component library if you are from uh, java background uh, if you know about jsof then obviously you might you might know about prime faces actually prime faces will provide more than 100 rich ui widgets other than other than that it will provide themes as well you can grab the themes and you can change the theme at any time if you want to use it for different clients you can use the different themes and at the same time you can get layouts also so you don't need to develop the page just get the layout and you can start the application so uh, it got around uh, 60 premier clients as well uh, big clients other than the open source so considering this successful uh, prime ng started around one year back exactly one year back and the current release is 2.0 why we need to choose prime ng yeah uh, in the recent uh, years there is a big revolution in web and mobile development right so most of the projects are trying to uh, move to single page applications so considering this so many frameworks came into the picture angular 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 js angular 2 react polymer vue js right so but at the same time you can't develop full application with plain frameworks frameworks itself right so we need a component libraries if you have component libraries just uh, get the components from the showcase or anywhere then you can develop the project uh, within quick span of time okay uh, actually uh, angular 2 was released 3 uh, months back right october or november when it was an alpha stage or beta stage uh, this prime ng started at that time uh, we saw that typescript is the better option compared to javascript and dot and it will provide all the features type system and everything so uh, considering this uh, prime ng started in january in 2016 uh, as of now there are around 80 plus components Uh, if you compare with other component libraries you might see maybe 10 20 like that and if you want to use some other components you need to go to some other component library and if you take all these components are open sourced uh, unlike some of the component libraries like kendo ea and vimjo there you have to pay 900 dollars per developer license right so and one more thing uh, if you don't want to use component libraries uh okay uh, we know about html javascript and css it's easy to learn but it's very difficult to maintain right so in the future you can't maintain that kind of code and all and so considering this we better go to common libraries okay and this prime ng it's not in alpha or beta stage it is complete and production ready it is used by many clients as well and apart from these components there are teams as well 
60, 16 plus themes. So you can get them from the uh, library directly. And there are some of the premium themes as well. So there you can get additional support. Uh, uh, actually, these free themes are created from jQuery. So if you use jQuery, uh, it will be good certain amount, uh, certain part of the time. But if you use uh, professional uh, sketch-based de uh, designing uh, themes and all, it will give you the great look. So you can get the premium themes as well, um, because it, it is requested by some of the clients. And there is a good support from the community, uh, from the forums, blogs, GitHub, and everywhere. Uh, just like in prime faces. So people know about prime faces, so many of the clients migrated to this prime ng. <coughs> what Angular team says about prime ng? Uh, Brad from Google, he's the director at Google and Angular. Uh, within one month of development, he recognized about this prime ng, and uh, it is mentioned in Angular conferences as well. And now, this PrimeNG is a sponsor in Angular Bees and NG conference as well. What Angular developers are thinking once you are using uh, PrimeNG? You, you don't want to go to some other uh, common libraries. And you don't want to use uh, application with only Angular 2. Because uh, we want to create an application uh, within a month, years. We don't want to uh, wait for longer time and deliver it to the client. By that time, some other technology will come, and uh, our business won't be there, first of all. What are the technologies uh, used in this prime ng? Uh, here, you can see all the latest technologies, HTML5, CSS3, and SAS for pre-compiler. And uh, it provides accessibility support also uh, for uh, screen readers and keyboard support, and AOT support as well, ahead of, ahead of time compilation. Uh, this will improve the performance, actually, Angular applications. Uh, it will compile the application in the compile time itself, not in the runtime. So the initial page load will be good. And at the same time, it will reduce the download size also, because you don't need to add separate compiler. In the runtime itself, you'll get it. And also, it will provide the security as well. So there is no chance of uh, injections. Okay, So it will uh, uh, prevent all these uh, security problems as well because of this runtime compil compilation. Sorry, uh, uh, in compile time compilation. So you don't need to wait uh, the compilation in the runtime. And then CLI support as well, it will provide with this CLI support, uh, you can create the prime ng application within two minutes as well. Uh, just like in Angular CLI, the, the same support will be there in prime ng. And Google Material Design. And uh, we saw that there are uh, 16 free themes and some of the premium themes as well. There you can provide the, there you can get this Google Material Design. Now most of the uh, applications are based on this Google Material Design. So this also can be uh, provided. And image sprites and font awesome icons. Image sprites, it will include, uh, for example, if you have 10 Im uh, 100 images, all that 100 images will be clubbed into single image. Due to this, number of server requests will be reduced. So you can make a single request instead of 100 requests. So that also supported along with font awesome icons. These font awesome icons, there are around 500 icons. With these 500 icons, uh, all these icons will be used in across the components. And the next, Webpack and System.js modular setups. OK, uh, now you want to use PrimeNG, uh, but you don't know uh, how to do that setup and all. You don't want to configure all the uh, libraries, dependencies and all. Considering this, uh, there are setup projects as well in PrimeNG uh, for both Webpack and System.js. Just go to that uh, repo, just clone it, and you can start it directly. So within two minutes, you don't need to do uh, any configuration. If you want to do any Angular and PrimeNG uh, application, just get that and start that. And you can add whatever the components you want. You can get the components from the showcase directly. And then uh, some of the standards used uh, across these components, CSS or JS. If you use more JS, then it will cause change detection in Angular context. So it will cost 
it will it will cause the performance considering this most of the time uh, it is being used with css wherever it is possible js is reduced and css is used so it will improve the performance all these technologies and standards are used in prime ng and these are some of the th uh, some one of the uh, layout from uh, prime ng uh, here you can get what are the design you want and uh, along with these free themes you can get this layouts as well and this uh, this graph will show the progress of prime ng in the last month there are around 40 to 45 uh, thousand dollars dollars are there it's it's very rare for one year project these are some of the premium client for prime ng messries ericsson fox network and there are so many other clients as well these are just premium clients only there are some other companies are using just as a open source <coughs> what next in 2017 uh, okay already we have 80 plus components uh, then the next plan is for this 2017 creating new components like spreadsheet color picker and uh, 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 timeline there are some of the components also there for this 2017 and more focus is on performance as well for each component they, uh, they are going to test on each component how much time it is going to take and uh, what are the technologies we are going to use uh, to improve the performance all those things going to be considered along with the accessibility will be uh, improved for screen readers keyboard support all those things and rtl support as also supported because uh, some of the clients are asking for rtl support right to left yeah we will see one quick setup how we can do that actually uh, we have three setups one for CLI and uh, other two for Webpack and System.js. Just we need to grab it from GitHub repo. Then we just need to install, just npm install on that uh, terminal. Then you can run the project. That's it. Then we will go to the demo. Uh, the major things are you need to remember uh, if you know about angular 2 uh, here we need to remember only four files one is main.ts this is for bootstrapping the application and app module ts here you need to provide all the modules you want to use actually these prime ng components are divided into multiple categories like form components data components uh, file upload components charts that kind of it is divided into multiple modules. So you just need to import all those modules in this file. And then the main thing is app component. Here we will provide the component instance. In this example, I'm going to take data table component for a CRUD operation. And template URL is this file. This is the HTML file. In this HTML file, we are going to add our prime ng components. Here you can see that data table component. Here in this data table component, we need to provide all the uh, attributes and event binding and property binding. This what this uh, this what about uh, uh, everything in Angular 2 applications? Property binding, event binding, and attributes. That's it. In uh, here, if you take here, we are providing selection as well, single selection, single row selection, and then uh, selection two-way binding. Here we are going to send that uh, whatever the selected object uh, from the UI to the backend. And row selection, this is event, event binding. And other features you can provide with paginator equal to true, then you will get the paginator. That's it. And number of rows, as, uh, rows also you can provide. And responsive. Actually, all these Angular uh, prime ng components are responsive, not only for web uh, applications, it can be used for mobile applications as well. It is tested in uh, 
uh, all kinds of uh, mobile and uh, uh, what is that, uh, tabs. It, it is tested across the devices, not just for desktop mobile applications, or uh, desktop and uh, web applications. So here we can see that all these features we will provide with attributes and for example for the sorting we just need to add, uh, we, we just need to provide sortable uh, binding sortable equal to true okay uh, now we will run this actually i installed all the dependencies so directly i will go with start Here we can see that data table component with just five lines of code. You can get this data table component. Here you can see that sorting feature and pagination, and you can see the row selection as well. Here we are trying. We can add, delete. Uh, we can do all the CRUD operations. And if you want to delete, you can delete that as well. So all these CRUD operations we can provide with this. Uh, single, I mean, five lines of code for this data table. You do, we don't need any uh, learning curve for this because you, you, there is a lot of documentation for this uh, prime ng. So you just, uh, you can grab it from the showcase, then you can use it in your applications. Uh, now we'll go to that uh, presentation. And if you want to see all the components, you can go to the showcase. Actually, it is not displayed properly here. All the components are divided into multiple categories. For example, I will go to chart. <coughs> I am not sure what is the problem with this. OK. So uh, these are the, some of the uh, charts. And you can find out all the components as well. Uh, we are not going to into, into that. And if you want to change the themes, you can try it later because I am not able to find out that uh, themes drop down. So you can change the theme, and the uh, entire web page uh, look and feel will be changed. So there are 16 themes available. OK, uh, I'm not using Angular 2. Then what should I need to do with this prime ng? So I'm using uh, React or Polymer or something else. So considering this, uh, uh, prime tech team started a prime, a prime React as well this year. So they are going to provide the same number of components, like 100 plus components, uh, and uh, React world also. And there is a plan for Polymer and Vue.js as well, because uh, other to, uh, as well, uh, that much popular. So there's a plan for other component libraries as well. Yeah, uh, that's it about PrimeNG. So you can better go through this uh, showcase. So then you will get all the components available. Uh, you don't need to go for any other component libraries. Any questions? Material is there, but uh, I don't know how many components are there in the material. I think there will be around maybe 20. Yeah, that's it. But here you can get 80 plus components. And if you go to that project, you can see around uh, 1,500 stars for this GitHub project within one year. And if you compare with, uh, you can compare with all the Angular UA component libraries. And it's not just providing the UA component libraries, but it provides the themes and layouts as well. So. You can change the themes at any time for different clients also. And we don't need to pay for anything. And uh, if, you, if you want any uh, new component, you can just uh, raise a GitHub request. Then you can get it easily. So there is the more support from the uh, community.
Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.